Hey guys, it's Smallmouth Crush. Just got back from the Bassmaster Classic. Going through all the goodies I got down there. I wanted to make a video on some of the baits, uh, some of the different tackle that I bought. Didn't go too, too hardcore this year, but I definitely want to get into it and share with you guys a couple of the, uh, the items that I got down there. All right, the Bassmaster Classic, wow. What a great time. I love going down there. It's awesome seeing my friends, seeing people that you only see once a year. It's sad, sad at times, wishing you're back on the elites, wishing you're at the classic, motivating. It's a little bit of everything, a lot of mixed feelings. It's just an all around great time. In case you're wondering, yes, I am sober today. Took a little while, but we're back in action. And um, man, it's just, it's always a great time down there. So let's start with some of the, some of the goodies I, I purchased while I was down there. Of course, Mercury hooked us up with some great gear, and we're actually going to be doing some uh, Mercury giveaways uh, in the future, so definitely pay attention to that coming up. But one of the booths, uh, one of the places I wanted to stop at while I was down there was a company called Yolo Tech, and I'm going to put all the uh, links in the description below. But Yolo Tech is actually uh, their equipment's what I use to film a lot of my GoPro footage out on the water, and in this case, this is actually the the pole that they have. And what's nice about this is it actually goes right into your lights. So at the bow of the boat or at the transom, wherever, you know, this is just as your light pole. And what it'll actually do is give charge to your GoPro so you don't have to worry about running out of battery. Um, there's two USB plugs right in here, which is great. And then, of course, it extends and gets just the right, uh, right height. And you can adjust that and leave it right as is. So this is a neat little toy. It's very durable, it's very sturdy. You can use it as a selfie stick, do whatever you want with it. Um, it's pretty cool. What I also did was I actually got a light. The light was on back order when I did order it, and they said they were gonna release it during the Classic. So I ended up getting the light. It's the, uh, the Yolo Tech Power Light that'll actually hook up as well on here. I'm not, I wasn't able to try it out yet uh, from what I heard and what I seen at the Classic. They had a little dark room booth there and this is going to be a pretty cool little thing to have, especially when you need a little bit of light uh, in the early mornings or you know after, after sunset when you're trying to get ready for the next day. I think it's going to be a great little tool. And um, we're going to do a, a video more on, on the water uh, with all this hooked up, and I'll run through that with you guys uh, in the future. So let's get into the tackle. Done, dude. Ah, Spencer. 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 Spencer so I could ship all the stuff back to my house because there was no way I was bringing it all on the plane. I squeezed by this year. My suitcase weighed about 75 pounds. I had a very difficult time trying to close it. I was a little bit worried. I actually had a couple of these mercury bags and had to dump some clothes in here, so uh, a little bit of carry-on and got creative. We got it to about 51 pounds, and I think after multiple attempts, the lady's like, all right, you're good to go. So it is what it is. I, I don't understand that rule. So here are some baits I'm really excited about. I'm a big fan of the chatterbait, big fan of Z-Man chatterbaits, and I just became a bigger fan of the Z-Man Jack Hammer. Okay, this is a special little, this is the Brit Heights chatterbait. It's, it's all the rage right now. I got them in all the different colors that you would need, black and blue, Green pumpkin, perch imitator, ch chartreuse in white, white, half ounce, three ace, and at 18, 19 bucks a piece, it's pretty crazy for a chatterbait, so hopefully it's going to work. I can't tell anything about them other than what I heard. I'm sure you guys have heard all the chatter as well. Get it, chatter? But I think this is going to be the real deal. Maybe something a more subtle action. I do know it has a little bit different vibration to it, which could be the key, especially 
you know, when you're fishing in a lot of the bodies of water that I fish, where the fish are constantly getting pounded and they're, they're seeing the same old, same old, this may give me an edge. So, very excited about the jackhammer. Now, what else did we find here? Let's start out with some of, some of this stuff here. So I went with the Picasso. This is the shock blade. It's basically a chatterbait made out of hair. Well, it's probably bucktail or something. I haven't. They just look good. There was a special on them. I got them in some different colors. I'm all about trying some different things. So who knows? I, I think it's just something different. I don't throw it. I've never thrown a chatterbait with hair. I know a couple guys that do. They do pretty well on them. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Then we got some mega hair jigs, right? I use these a lot for smallmouth fishing, especially one of the, no, I'm just kidding. I've never thrown a hair jig, a big hair jig like this, except on like the Tennessee rivers, things like that. Where I fish a lot of times in the northern part of the country, we just don't throw them. And I had a brilliant idea, sitting there staring at these baits, buy three, get one free. I just couldn't pass it up and I said, you know what, maybe, just maybe, I can sling one of these out on Lake Ontario and see what happens. Perhaps if they're chasing some shad, some alewives, the smallies might uh, gravitate to this bait. I think it works real well in Kern as well, so I'm actually going to give it a whirl on the, uh, on the St. Lawrence. I don't know. It's just it's good to have. Good to have in your arsenal. I know if I ever get back down south, that definitely does come into play. I also found some smaller hair jigs. Now, I don't know. I, I'm, I buy hair jigs a lot because I throw them a lot, and I like to try other companies, see what other people are throwing. So these are the Andes um, custom jigs. I guess Edwin Evers is associated with them. Uh, he claims that he's won the St. Lawrence River event on the Edwin Evers E-Series synthetic hair jig. And I, I, they had an eighth. I was looking for a 16th that they had one. Uh, so we got a bunch of, of, of the eighths, eighth ounce size. Then they got some bear hair as well as some hair jigs that rattle. From those, from those guys. So, I don't know, they gave me their brochure, and I guess if I'm impressed with these, I'll be ordering more. That's yet to be determined, so we'll have to see what happens there. And like I said, I didn't go too crazy. That's pretty much it until I got to the end of the day and noticed that Dix was having a buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off type of deal on Kitex. I'm a huge fan of the Kitex swim baits. Throw them a lot. They work great for largemouth and smallmouth. I run anything from the, you know, mainly I'm using the 3.8s. I'll use the smaller ones, the 2.8s as well. I'll drop shot with those. I'll throw them on a small jig head. There's a lot of ways to fish a Kitek, and they work great. So that one we went, that's what set us back here on the, uh, my suitcase was too heavy type of deal. But we got a lot of them in here as a, uh, Go all over the place. But just, I mean, just good colors, things like that. Nothing too serious. I've been impressed with the uh, Easy Shiner as of last year. It's it's a really good spin bait, uh, swim bait that I'll put on like an underspin. That works really good for me. I got them all in just real good fish catchy colors. So I stick with the naturals. I'll stick with white, the ghost, uh, pro blue, uh, silver flash, minnow. Um, I'll actually, I'll use black as well. I haven't used, I really haven't used the 2.8s in black. I use a lot of, um, I use a lot of like the spirit shads, the, the, the goby imitators when I'm drop shotting and, and they love that color black. I use a black leech. I figured why not? They'll definitely bite this. I throw this size a lot in the uh, rainbow shad color. So that's pretty much it. Nothing too serious. I'm going to organize all this, go through it. And I didn't get too crazy this year at all. But I think I made out okay, especially the deal here on these Kitex. Yes, the chatterbaits were a little pricey. What's this world coming to? $18 for a chatterbait? Well, let's see. Let's see if they actually make a difference or not. I don't know. But that's why I love going down the Classic. You never know what you're going to find. And there was so many other baits and stuff there. I just, you have to walk away at some point and say, you know, enough is enough. But I get home, I do some more research on it. I'm sure I'll be making another online order 
any day now. Just how it is, man. I'm addicted to fishing, addicted to tackle. I'm sure you guys are too. Hey, if any of you guys are down in the classic, let me know if you found any cool baits, any different things that kind of uh, caught your eye, anything new on the market. Love to hear about this jackhammer. See how you guys are doing in the future on this bait. And we'll go from there. We'll see you guys on the water.